pray so for? I do. I've got exemption paper at work for religious. Handsome, right? <laughs> Throw it back off. Come on. You know, I do want to have I do have a prayer request. I wasn't gonna say anything, but I know some of y'all kinda of know what's going on with me and Kima. Just continue to pray that the Lord's will be done. I hope you don't know, I can tell you. I thought some of you knew, but uh, my daughter is trying to take her back. And it's, I've had that baby since she was six weeks old. I can't let her go. So y'all just pray that God will be done. Anybody want to be anointed tonight? Father, you've heard this request, God. God, I'd like to present it to you, sir, to you because that is our service. God, I'm asking you right now, Lord, to come to the this, God. Do what we've done. God, there's this body of the protector now. God, so we just honor you and praise you, God. God, we respect your praise. God, we love you for what you're going to do. In Jesus' precious name, we we glorify you, Lord. And Lord, we just put it into thy hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Let's stand and take rest of these quests to the Lord in prayer. Let's call upon the Lord like he's called upon tonight. Dear Heavenly Father, we just come to you tonight, Lord, love you, praise you, Lord. Thank you for each and every blessing you bestowed upon us, God. God, you've heard each and every special request, Lord. You know the urgency, God, that poor upon it, God. God, I ask, Lord, that you just move in a special way, Lord, upon each and every one, God. Lord, I ask that you touch this service tonight, God, and that you be uplifted and hide everything by the cross. But God, we trust you, Lord, and love you, Lord. And just thank you, Lord, for the blessing, Lord, that's there upon each and every one. God, this movement in our midst tonight, God. There be one here tonight, Lord, that don't know you as Lord and Savior. I pray, God, that you touch their hearts tonight before they leave. And God, encourage each and every one of us just to stand true to you through this season. In Jesus' precious and holy name we pray. Amen and amen. amen.
the words on a couple of these songs in here so everybody can sing what you want to. You can stand and you can sit. Sing joy to the world, joy to the world, the Lord is come. He's soon coming, praise the Lord. He's Amen. Amen. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let her earth receive her king. Oh. 
song from Buddy Green put the music to it. And I found this today, of course, when we're reading the Word, they said there was a lot of controversy on this song about a force marrying you. The angel of the Lord came to her in, in uh, Luke 1, 30, 33 through 35, and said, Mary, you that she had found favor with God, the Catholics and Protestants disagreed about the immaculate conception of Mary's sinlessness, but both agreed that Mary was special and chosen and blessed. Mary knew that she would bear a son who would be named Jesus, meaning Savior. She will give birth to a son, and you will give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people Sorry. from their sins. Mary knew Jesus was the Son of God, the Son of the Most High. Yes. Mary knew that Jesus was from the kingly line of his ancestor, David, and that God would give him David's throne, an eternal kingdom that will never end. Mary, more than anyone, knew that her pregnancy was a result of the Holy Spirit and the power of the Most High. So did Mary know? Yes, she did. But that does not and should not ruin this beautiful Christmas song. The questions are rhetoric, rhetorical and could easily be answered with a yes. Even when we know the biblical answer, we still ponder the questions and it's a good exercise to do so. Regardless of how much Mary did or did not perfectly understand, we can be sure the young Jewish girl asked many questions of God, the Father, as she cradled God, the Son. Mm -hmm. How is that even possible? One of many great questions. And in the words of the author, Mark Lowry, as he wrote the song, as my mind went back to the manger scene, I began to think about the power and the authority and the majesty she cradled in her arms. Those little lips were the same lips that had spoken worlds into existence. All of those things were contained in the young child lying quietly on her bosom. Even now, he was the very one who had given life to his mother, Mary. God. That's extraordinary. Yes. Yes. shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over the flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone around, round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel, angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us know, let us now go even unto Bethlehem to see this thing which has come to pass, with the, which the Lord has made known unto us. One wants to sing angels from the realm of glory. Congregation. Angels from the realm of glory.
often thought about the night and wondered if they realized that the star so bright was sent to tell all the land the Son of God would soon become the Son of Man. And the creatures gathered round and didn't make a sound. And the Oh, 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 oh. 
Amen. I had to blow my nail. What do you want us to do? Just stay here, okay? <laughs> Yes. We need to get everybody here. Let's see if we can do this. I can't do this, it's too low. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Good tidings. <laughs> well, this is kind of sad. <laughs> I love She had a God that was big. Yes. Oh, my. And as we think about that, you know, a lot of times we think we've got more on us than we can bear. We think there's things that's happened to us. We don't know whether we can handle them or not. But, you know, we got a big God, too. And our God takes care of us, too. And I'm so thankful that we can be here at Christmas time and worship God and feel the presence of the Holy Ghost, the fire of God move up and down the aisles. And just know that Jesus is soon coming. Uh, tell that by the signs of the times, but nobody wants to come to church, nobody really wants to serve God, and nobody really wants to get involved. I tell you something, we need to stir our minds and stir our hearts and start visiting this next year and try and win souls for Christ. And I'm so thankful that you worked hard on this and you tried to do something to uh, make Christmas uh, great here at the church, and it has been, and uh, I appreciate everybody that uh, worked and put up decorations and Brother David and uh, Brenda had come to me and you know, asked me, could they start uh, this uh, program tonight for us? And I appreciate them doing that. And I appreciate the rest of you helping them. I appreciate you being a part with it. And I appreciate you singing and doing your part. And uh, can we give them one more hand? Could you do that? <laughs> all of us together can accomplish something. Amen. And it takes all of us. It's, uh, somebody was uh, talking about their pastor this past week, and uh, they was running their pastor down. And a few days later on Facebook, I read this thing that said, uh, if you need a new pastor, or your pastor's not doing the job, then start praying for me. Amen. You know, sometimes maybe we just need to pray for one another a little more. Trust God. And I hope every one of you have a blessed Christmas. Okay, I hope every one of you just uh, receive from God. I'm not worried about the packages you receive. I'm not worried about the food that you have. My thought is that Jesus can be in your heart. Amen. On that day, Christmas. you're going to be a blessed person. Amen. 
And if you don't know Jesus, you can get to know him tonight before you leave this place. That's right. Because he's been here. I felt him. His anointing is here and his blessings are here. If you want him in your life, the only thing you've got to do is open your heart. Come down to this altar tonight and repent of your sins and call upon his name. And he'll come into your heart because he loves you and cares for you. If you need anything from God, I don't care what it is, God's concerned about it. He's concerned about you. I remember back whenever I used to work in a furniture factory. I could pray over things that happened there. And somebody said, God ain't concerned about this furniture factory. He sure wasn't. But he was concerned about me. That's right. And I thank God for that. I thank God that he's concerned about me. How about you? He is concerned about you. Stand with me tonight. It's good to have you tonight. It's good to have a visitor here tonight. I just hope God blesses you in a mighty way. Hope you want to come back. Just be a part with us. Hope every one of you want to just start this new year with Jesus in your heart and in service every time that the doors are open. And I pray that our other people will get back in church and the ones that are scared to, to come. Uh, I'll tell you right now, they might get sick, but God's able to heal. Amen. And he's able to keep them safe even though they're in church. I just pray that they get their hearts right and get back with God where they need to be and just trust him. You need to pray in the altar tonight. The altar is open. You're welcome to come. As we pray tonight, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you tonight. Lord, love you and praise you. Lord, we thank you for each and every blessing of God that you bestowed upon us. God, I thank you for these that have worked tonight and done this for us. God, God, I pray that you give them a double portion of your spirit, God, and move upon them. If there be one here tonight, Lord, it's not assured where they're going to spend eternity, God. I pray, God, that you bring their heart and let the Holy Ghost do its work and move upon them, God. And let them know, Lord, that they need to draw nigh unto you. And, God, if they'll come, I know they'll receive from you. But, God, move in this place in a special way. God, let this church be a light, a beacon on a hillside here, God, to let people know that we love them and we want them saved. Ready to meet you one of these days. And God will just give you the honor and praise and glory for everything that you do. In Jesus' precious name, holy name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you. Can you give one more hand? Thank you for what you've done. Let them know you enjoy it.